In this video, we are going to learn about area and perimeter of rectangles. First, let's review what a rectangle is. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, and it also has four right angles. One property of a rectangle is that its opposite sides will be congruent. So that means if we label its two dimensions as B for base and H for height, the other side here will also be the length of B and this side will be the length of H. In general, the perimeter of a shape is the distance around a shape. So if you imagine walking around the outside of a shape, the perimeter is how far you would have walked. And that would be true for any shape, whether or not it's a rectangle. So for this rectangle, the perimeter would be the length of all these sides added up because that's the total distance you would travel if you went around the whole shape. So the perimeter of this rectangle is base B plus H height plus B plus H, or if we combine like terms, 2B plus 2H. Next, let's talk about area. Now, perimeter was a one-dimensional measurement meaning that your units for perimeter will always be just units, inches, centimeters, something like that. Area is a two-dimensional measurement. One way to think about it is area is the amount of space inside a two-dimensional object. In other words, it would be the number of unit squares it would take to fill up the whole shape. So, if this rectangle had was eight units on this side and six units on this side, then we could actually split it up into the number of unit squares that it takes to fill up the whole shape. First, divide the rectangle into eight sections for the eight units that are the base and then divide the rectangle into six sections in the other direction for the other side, the height. Now what we see is we have a bunch of little unit squares, and the area is how many unit squares are in this whole rectangle. So you could count them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and realize that there are eight in every row, and there are six rows total, so that's really just multiplication. In total, there would be 48 unit squares. So that's what the area of this rectangle is, 48 unit squared. So in general, the formula is just, you take the base and multiply it by the height, because that will always give you the number of unit squares it would take to fill up this shape. Now this formula only works for rectangles, because rectangles are the only shape that's divided easily this way. So for a rectangle, the area is just base times height. And again, the reason for that is that calculation helps you to figure out how many unit squares would fill up the whole rectangle.